Hello everyone. Sweet buttery baby boy Christopher back. Don't mind that. This is a hot off the presses request from Sam from Holland. Top 10 scary ghost videos to make you close the app. This one premiered yesterday, so this is the newest one I've ever done. And we're going to do it right now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Not you. Go back to sleep so I can hear you snore. Oh, I'm going to chew your face off. <laughs> She's just looking at me. Every time I, she's doing this. When I say her name, her ears drop, and then they go back up. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any YouTube gatherings. My brain's just not. It's just like, eh, whatever. So, um, like and subscribe. Otherwise, YouTube will hire a hitman from the deep web to come and kill you. I don't make the rules. They are what they are. We're going to start the video in 1111. 1110. Zero. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Mistaken identity. The next few videos were uploaded to TikTok by a widower from Tennessee who prefers to keep his identity anonymous. He says that he's experienced some odd things in his house over the last 11 I like his name, dude. My house is haunted. <laughs> years. But recently, the activity has become much more extreme. He set some security cameras to capture the bizarre incidents. And he says that he believes that the spirit might be the ghost of his beloved deceased wife coming back to visit him. So early one morning before heading out to work, the man walks into the kitchen to discover this. Well, as you can see, it's morning, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I got to get to work. Uh, but Whoa. I got up this morning to get my coffee. I uh, walked into the kitchen and saw this. So I guess you guys are right that uh, activity seems to be picking up because I have been, you know, doing renovations. I replaced all this stuff, this uh, dishwasher, this stove, the oven hood there. Uh, but this morning when I came into the kitchen, I noticed the cabinet was open. And then I noticed this chair. Uh, so I checked the ring video and it definitely <sighs> freaked me out. So probably just a gopher. Telltale sign of an aardvark infestation. This is case closed to me. When he reviews his ring cam footage, it shows a chair sliding all around the kitchen on its own. And then a pale white figure seems to appear from nowhere and violently tosses the chair to the floor. But things are about to take an even more terrifying turn. Uh, I just want to go back for just a second, uh, 222. I want to go back to when he was looking out the window at first because I went, oh, because I swear I saw something dart past. Hey, would you two stop your fighting? Your sisters. 222. Yes. Just bear with me for a second. Well, as you can see, it's morning, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I got to get to work. Uh, but when I got up this, this okay. morning to get my coffee, uh, I walked into the kitchen. Maybe I didn't see well, it. As you can see, it's morning, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I got to get to work. Uh, it might have been his hand. It's I'm looking right in here, and there just seems to be a like a, something. It looks like something moves. Before heading out to work, the man I, walks into the kitchen. I thought something walked by, so I, that's why I went, oh, figuring that something had walked past him from behind. To discover I'm this. probably wrong, but... 
Well, as you can see, it's morning, see, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I can get to work. Just uh, kind of move, my, but it might have been. Got up this hand. morning to get my coffee. Uh, I walked into the kitchen and saw this. So I guess you guys were right. It might have just been a terrifying hand turn because one day the man starts to hear something walking up and down his hallway. He goes to investigate, and what happens next chills him to his core. Hey, everyone. Um, Remember how I said uh, I didn't know how I'd react if um, this thing started touching me? <sighs> it started walking towards me. <sighs> he thinks this is his, his uh, deceased wife, right? I'm just saying, like, uh, if this is a loved one, why would they do this to you? I don't think it's a loved one. I'm just saying. I feel bad for him. And I feel my hand on my back. Someone whisper. I could, it was faint. But when I heard it walking away from me, I finally felt like I could move. And I, I ran. Um, the whispering. It, it was a voice. It was, um, a lot of people. His people seemed stuck. They were all saying, help me. Hey, guys. My, uh, hall walker is back. I'm going to go into the hallway and see if I can hear. Peace of mind. Uh, Such a big, beautiful idea. And for us at Booking.com, this means free cancellation on most bookings. No one cares. Come on. Man. That sounds like it's down at the end of the hallway. I didn't hear any of the voices. I, I faintly thought I heard something, but I didn't hear any of the voices. Did anyone else pick up anything? I, w I just kept hearing the creaking of the wood. I feel like somebody's resting behind me. That's not my wife. <laughs> the man weeps uncontrollably as he explains that he felt a hand on his back and heard multiple voices that seemed to be begging him for help. no longer believes that the present I didn't hear anything I, I keep hearing the, the creaking of the wood I'm not hearing any voices taunting his home is the spirit of his deceased wife he now not saying if you do hear it 
I'm just not, I'm to pick, there's too much back noise and then the wood creaking. I'm picking up everything else but that. And if there is voices, it's just too faint for me to hear it. Believes that it might be multiple spirits or perhaps even something more sinister. But what do you think is going on here? That's what I'm saying. If, if I don't think all this is happening and this would be his wife, that does not make any sense. Why would you do that to a loved one? Now, with that said, if I died, I would haunt all of my loved ones. Oh, I'd be throwing things across the rooms, be screaming at them, but I would do it out of love. You know? Here, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What's wrong with this picture? This next spooky video was posted to Reddit by a mysterious account that has since disappeared. The Reddit user claimed that a friend took a very odd iPhone Live photo of their family. Now, for those who don't know, an iPhone Live photo records one and a half seconds of video before and after a picture is taken. So the photographer says that everyone in this picture was accounted for, except for one disturbing extra. As the photo is taken, a bizarre white figure on all fours appears out of nowhere and crawls out of sight. Strangely enough, whatever this is was not there in the photo and just seems to appear out of thin air. According to the Reddit post, the person who recorded the live photo has no idea who or what this could be. So what do you think this is? I'd say it's a whale. Really haunted. For the last three years, Lee from the paranormal YouTube channel Really Haunted has been documenting terrifying paranormal activity that he and his wife have been experiencing inside their home in England. The supernatural events have become increasingly more extreme and violent throughout the years, and Lee says that he is desperate to find a solution to his paranormal problem. Hi guys, so over the last few nights it's been absolutely crazy in the house. I've, you know, I've... I don't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep lately, if I'm being honest. Um... Now Lee keeps static cameras set up in his bedroom and living room that constantly record. Late one night, he and his wife Stacy are sleeping peacefully in bed when the static camera catches something truly unnerving. These poor little dogs grow increasingly upset as they hear loud bangs coming from somewhere in the house. Then a small teddy bear appears to be lifted up into the air by some sort of odd smoke-like entity. 
Lee decides to change up his recording equipment and adds an SLS Connect camera to the mix to see what it might capture. Late one night when Lee is alone and fast asleep in bed, this happens. That thing knocks over the table and then just break dances right out of the room. The SLS camera picks up a figure walking around Lee's bedroom and it seems to have a strange interest in Lee's bedside table. The figure then climbs onto the bed. Next it seems to creepily lean right over Lee to violently knock over the bedside table. Later a static camera in the living room records something absolutely terrifying. Love your cat, but hate scooping? Nope. This is Litter Robot, the automatic self-cleaning litter. Did you see it? As the light flickers on and off for just a fraction of a second, a very tall, dark figure can be seen standing in Lee's living room. Lee says that this footage is the creepiest thing he's ever recorded in his home, and it has left him terrified. But what do you think is going on here? Is Lee's home, quote, really haunted? You can watch many more scary videos of Lee's paranormal encounters. He's haunted by some breakdancers. On his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Watch your back. This next video was sent directly to me by Nukestop5 viewer Elias, who lives in Brazil. Elias says that he usually records videos while playing the piano just to help him memorize the chords that he's learned. But this time, he accidentally records something very creepy. Elias is terrified when he sees a dark silhouette standing behind him in the reflection of his TV. He quickly turns around, but there's nothing there. So could Elias have recorded a paranormal entity on camera? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. I don't want to decide, man. Lost. Paranormal investigation team Ochai, Uchida, Nagao, and cameraman Minaguchi from the YouTube channel Zozozo 
travel to the allegedly haunted Shinshu Kanko Hotel in Nagano, Japan. The ominous sprawling hotel was built in 1951 and now resembles a creepy maze-like structure after repeated expansions and renovations for over 46 years. The hotel eventually declared bankruptcy in 1997 and was left abandoned. And now here's where things get weird. Because not one, but three different demolition companies have attempted to tear down the Shinshu Kanko Hotel. All of them failed went bankrupt and were forced to stop. Creepiest of all, the managing director of one of those companies just disappeared completely. Another demolition manager claimed that he was pushed down a staircase by some invisible force. Workers on the demolition teams found the experience unnerving. They would complain of hearing the unexplained creepy laughter of women throughout the hotel's winding halls. I can tell you right now it's not haunted. And I know that because every year I go on a two-week vacation and stay there. Many believe that the maze-like construction of the hotel is the reason why spirits have become lost and trapped in an eternal search for the way back out. While the Zozozo team explores the large hotel, they begin to hear disturbing sounds coming from somewhere nearby. <laughs> え、どういう部屋? The team hears the sound of footsteps and something that sounds almost like the crying of a child. They wonder if they might not be alone in the building, but they continue to explore. That's when they spot something terrifying. え、すいません。動かないもん、動かないんじゃじゃじゃ。危ない。これは本当に危ないから。一応消えましょう。なんかもう。それ言われたら損にしか見えないんだもん。めちゃくちゃ震える。え、でもさ、本当に。違う、さすが
When the dark footage is enhanced, it becomes clear that there is indeed an odd figure just standing there, seeming to stare right at them. As they move closer to investigate, the figure now seems to have disappeared into thin air. But that's not all, because the most disturbing encounter of the night is something that the group did not even notice. At one point, the team splits up to explore different parts of the building. Uchida and Nagao are alone and making their way towards the rooftop when they capture something absolutely terrifying. Did you see it? Uchida and Nagao are completely unaware as they walk right past someone standing in one of the hotel rooms. The creepy stranger is facing the wall, seemingly unconcerned as the two investigators pass. Sorry, I think I'm blocking it. The Zozozo team never even noticed this person while filming. The figure was pointed out in YouTube comments. The Zozozo team has no idea who this is. They believe that it could just possibly be one of the spirits trapped in the old hotel. But what do you think these eerie apparitions could be? Let me know down below. Exploration gone wrong. 26 year old Magnus Rizmir has always had an interest in hiking and his YouTube channel is dedicated to his explorations of the beautiful countryside of Norway. Almost all of his videos show him hiking, canoeing, or camping, except for one. There is one very bizarre video that Magnus claims was sent to him by a friend. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because the Sleep Number 360 smart bed senses your movements and automatically adjusts, so you... Gamle driten her. Faen, ass. Magnus's friend is out hiking in the middle of nowhere and discovers an old abandoned house. He decides to investigate inside, but... Uh, hold on for a second. <laughs> Magnus's friend is out hiking in the middle of nowhere and discovers an... Watch that window. The old abandoned house. It's gone. Something was watching him. He decides to investigate. Send that to Nuke. Get inside, but regrets his decision almost immediately as something or someone scares the living out of him. Now, whether this video is paranormal, a prank, or maybe even just a very unlucky encounter with a squatter. I'd just say a squatter, almost perfectly. Yeah. We'll never know. But what do you think? Real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I decide. You decide. Yes.
Ah! I know everyone got freaked out. Let's just hold on. Everyone to feel better? You recentered? Everyone need a cushion squeeze? There you go. The road less traveled. TikTok user Rifki from Bengkulu, Indonesia says that he was returning from a quick trip to pick up some items at the local convenience store. But on his way back home, he has a terrifying encounter. Okay guys, gue dari baru dari Indomaret dan gue habis belanja di Indomaret dan sekarang waktu mau balik ke kos dan di ujung itu kayak ada orang orang atau apa gue enggak tahu guys. Dan Sorry, that, I hate when I I do it. I apologize. Sometimes I talk, but yeah, that's a person right there, I, I believe. Ini cuma jalan satu-satunya untuk ke kos gue gitu. Oke, kita deketin aja ya, oke. Pelan-pelan. Gue enggak tahu sih ini orang atau enggak ya. He's gonna turn around, it's gonna be behind him, right? Anjir bangsat, hilang, hilang guys. A strange woman seems to just stand motionless on the side of the road. Rifki is freaked out, and since this is his only way home, he decides to just run past the bizarre woman. But when he turns to look back, she has disappeared. The chilling figure appears to be a woman in a dress with her hair covering her face. Rifki is uncertain of what he has just witnessed, and wonders if he captured something paranormal. So is this a real ghost caught on camera, Don't you say or it. just someone acting? Really strange. Don't you say it. I leave it up to you to decide. Damn it. Shivers. Paranormal investigation. I don't have an answer, folks. I apologize. I didn't expect him to turn it to me. There's Casey and Colton from the popular ghost hunting channel Mindseed TV travel to Colorado to spend the night in a house that is isolated in the middle of the dark, snow covered woods. The house's owner, Sarah, says that when she's in bed at night, she often hears the creepy sounds of children playing outside her window, even though the temperatures are below freezing and there are no neighbors anywhere nearby. Well, Sarah found out that a boy who had previously lived in the house fell through the ice in the creek right behind their home and drowned. Casey and Colton are invited to spend the night at the house to investigate. As they explore the home, they immediately find something very strange. Hey. This looks like, uh. What the f? This looks like dog. Like dog nose. You know how it drips down? You know what I'm talking about? Like when a dog like, sticks their nose constantly? That absolutely does not look like that. That looks like fingers. Next, the guys decide to venture out into the snowy night to explore the creek behind the house. And things just get weirder. Ooh. Hey, real quick, no bull. Whoa, do these, do these look like adult footprints or no? Those look like kids, right? Get one to two day prescription delivery or pick it up now at CVS. Healthier happens together. When we approached the bridge, we looked down and there was these single file, like, small footprints, definitely smaller than ours. Here, wait, check this out. Hold on. I just want to do this for the, for the viewer's sake. Here, look, this is, this is the size of one of my footprints. That's an adult footprint. Those are tiny, huh? Yeah. Small child shoes to just, something just like sprinted across the bridge. You still see the impression of the foot. Look at them, like they ran yeah. across it. Hey, there's no more footprints. Huh? There's no more footprints. They stopped. They didn't even get all the way. They got like right here on the other side of the, the creek. But look, look, look at the um, bridge. Yeah. 
they stop. And the, there's none around here. That's that, wild. That's creepy. That's true. That is true. The Mind Seed TV team find what appears to be a child's fingerprints on the house's window and small footprints outside in the snow. They try to make contact with the spirit that might be haunting the home, but they don't really have much luck. So they decide to just set up a static camera and head to bed for the night. But just like the homeowner Sarah had told them, they hear something strange from outside their bedroom window. hear a strange sing-song voice coming from outside i can't say i heard singing oh my goodness i can't say i heard singing but i i heard something that sounded like oh, no. <coughs> minus the coughing um i heard something but i i didn't you know i didn't hear i can't say it was singing but i heard something i didn't decide to head out to investigate but just as they start to put on their warmer clothing Casey catches a glimpse of something through the downstairs window. Something downright chilling. Hey, cut the light. I swear I saw something move outside, and when I asked Colton to turn off the lights, I was not prepared for what we both saw. Hey, cut the light. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Did you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? Oh, know, bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. Okay. What the is that? Oh, oh, my oh God. dude. What the, bro? I can't. I oh thought that was a shadow, God, bro. It, like, disappeared. Is that that bridge right here? Is this the bridge? Because I saw that thing like right over here and it looked like it ran that way. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. You know so the guys have seen fingerprints and footprints, heard childlike singing, and creepiest of all, they now see a small shadowy figure that seems to just be watching them from the bridge across the frozen creek. Okay, what's the bridge? Now it should be noted the temperature was freezing that night. The snow was thick on the ground, and there were even warning signs of hungry bears in the area. So it seems highly unlikely that anyone would be standing all alone in the dark on that little bridge. But as always, let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Mindseed TV. Did you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Oh bro, it's moving, it's moving. What the f is that? Oh, oh dude. What the f bro? I can't. I thought that was a shadow, bro. It like disappeared. Story time. Laura from the YouTube channel Laura's Kitchen regularly uploads fun videos sharing her tasty recipes and love for cooking. One night she decides to go live on YouTube along with her son Max. While telling a story about her son, something happens that shocks them both. So we bought the dog these buttons and they're programmed that one says play right when he steps on it so anyways for a month oscar has been walking around the house um saying to me your mom your mom is dead and it really got me upset it was getting me very emotional because she did pass away like 20 years ago and i'm like why why are you doing that like you know for a solid month and then finally he stopped getting a reaction out of me so we were um, at the back door and the dog had to pee and there's a button that says pee pee by the back door and I'm like wow you know it's been quiet Oscar has not bothered me all day this is great I think he's finally over this right 
So I said to the dog, hit the button. You want to go pee pee? Hit the button. So he hits the button and it goes, your mom's dead. <laughs> what the f***? What was that? So anyways, I hear in the back, of the back by the stairs, because the stairs are in the opposite direction. I hear, <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> that's an evil story. Evil story. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Tracy saying hi. Oh. What else are we hearing here? <coughs> is my is my house haunted? Hmm? Is my house haunted? Why? What's up, Angie? Think. Sorry, typing too fast to spell it right. I don't know. I sometimes I get a feeling there's something happening in my house, but I don't. Uh, oh no! Oh, oh, yeah, it's haunted. The dog wants to go for a walk. Yeah. What did she see? I think it, I heard something in the background earlier, but I thought I heard something. Nothing's right. Sorry, typing too fast. That's strange. The cabinet behind you just opened and closed on its own. What? Is that what that was? Whoa! The f is that? What was that? Right as Laura is talking about her mother, a kitchen cabinet opens and closes very quickly on its own. Laura hears something, but shrugs it off and continues to tell her story. Now remember that all of this happened live on YouTube. So in Laura's live YouTube comment feed, one of her worried viewers warns her about what just happened. Laura is confused and goes to inspect the cabinet. Then all hell breaks loose. A week later, and Laura's back on YouTube and reflects on what happened that night. That night, I didn't sleep a wink. Absolutely petrified. My husband came home. I didn't call him at work because I, I figured he would tell me I was being dramatic and uh, I didn't want to hear it. But anyways, small and short of it, the next morning, um, I went to the kitchen. I'm the first one up to get everything ready for the kids for school. And it felt normal. There was no bad feelings. It was completely peaceful. It doesn't feel um, like it was bad. And the more that I watched the video over, um, the more things kind of like, I don't know, I kind of feel like maybe it was my mom. Um, it's just too coincidental because we were talking about my mom. We were telling the story. And as soon as I said that, that last line about my mom is when that started happening. And the weird thing is, if you look at all my videos since over a year and a half ago, if you notice in the kitchen, oh, you can't see it from that angle. Hold on. I keep my mom right here and she sits underneath the cupboard that was opening up. So is it coincidence? Is it my mom? If it is, do I want to stage my house and tell her to leave? Because I don't, I don't feel weird. I don't feel um, creeped out or violated in my home. I feel nothing. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. So could this be the spirit of Laura's mother trying to make contact? Let me know. When Grandma comes to visit. TikTok user and proud mother Valley Yunker often records short videos of her five month old baby girl around their house in California. One night, Valley's daughter is playing with her favorite toy when suddenly this happens. <laughs> the toy appears to be yanked right out of the baby's hands by some invisible force. Now, some cynical viewers of the video claim that they could see a string attached to the toy. But Valley explains in another video that the toy has a cut tag on the back that just looks like a small white line. Valley also says that she's never had anything like this happen before. 
but she doesn't feel any negative presence in her home. She believes that this could be the spirit of her daughter's recently deceased great-grandma just visiting and watching over the baby. That is weird. Thanks so much for watching. My upload schedule... That is weird. Um, wow. I mean, I don't have much to say on that. Some... They were all kind of... Uh, not a lot to reflect on those. Um, this is a long one, so I'm just going to end it here. Um, I apologize, I, you know, going back, but there were a few spots where I just I had to go back and look at something. But I did see the face looking at that through the upstairs window, so that's a good one. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. 625 I'm gonna get cleaned up and I'll probably do another video tonight take the edge off my videos okay all right well like and subscribe thanks for the support thanks for the the suggestions and um, I appreciate it have a good day have a good night